What's up, guys? Welcome back to World of Tanks. So, uh, I was looking at the shop the other day, and I saw that they were selling the Sturve K for like $55, which I believe is about what I said they would resell it for, uh, which is still cheaper than I would have been able to get it in the marathon. Uh, however, I had a coupon that somehow worked with this tank, so I got it for 45 um, just to test it out and see how correct or wrong I was, and uh, in a way, I was wrong. But, it's all good, because we're going to get into some gameplay here. And play some live battles in the stir. Since we're playing some live battles in the stir, I'm gonna throw on some boosters real quick, some uh, crew boosters, and some XP boosters, free XP boosters, and credit boosters. As you can see, I haven't been grinding to a billion credits recently, so. I also haven't been live in nearly a month, so Twitch is probably not going to show my stream later to anyone, so. By the way, if you're watching this as it's released, should be streaming from the Titancraft server later today. After I get this video out. And the first game is on Lakeville. A lot of TDs. Not really that many TDs. So, when I said I was wrong about this tank... This tank is not a complete piece of crap. It's actually it's decent. It's decent enough. It it consistently puts out about two or three thousand damage a game pretty easily. Uh, you have really good or really decent pun for a tier nine on all of your shell types. Uh, even the HEs are are not bad. Uh, so there's that. I mean, you're, you're slower than a Kron, and you're slower than a 7-1, but ultimately it's not going to matter that much. Ooh, I did not see that Chieftain. Yikes. And he's anonymized, so that's going to suck. Play against... I'm also not gonna play the left side, obviously. That's the dumbest thing you can do. It's not. I'm trying to get up into the pocket up there. Let the cron sit the hole down, because I can't sit at the hole down. Trying to get sneaky on this chieftain here. It's not gonna work. There's a Conway back there, also. Nice. I don't want to get nearly as sneaky with that I just gotta figure out how to play this spot again. Oh no. Should have let that aim more, but oh well.
just random to get a little bit more damage out of them. It's okay, cheap damage. Locking me in, it's so annoying. Alrighty. I get the feeling he's gonna come back up. He came back up. My shot went low. They went into extract at least, so I get some out of them. Let's see. See, the turret's useful enough, just like the 7 1 turret is useful enough. And the gun, <laughs> the gun's pretty good, honestly. It's just the 7 1's gun without uh, hash rounds. So, I mean, it's, it's not particularly bad or anything. I want to get to the corner. Waiting on the mouse to spot out whatever's over there. So we don't know where the Death Star is right now. I don't want to get clapped by a 183 millimeter hash round, obviously. It's quite a garbo thing to happen to you. He has completely disappeared from the map, though. Which is weird because he's not in a particularly fast tank. Why are you here, Lydia? Okay. <laughs> what was he shooting at? Oops. Where was the Death Star? 277 is back over here somewhere. So I'm just gonna push with this shit and out towards this way. Oh, man. And the 277 shoots me over anyone else standing. E75 spotted. Sideways too. That would be really easy to go. T57 heavy. Just ammo wrecked the Leo, so he's probably still got two shells left. It's going down below though. So our only chance to get damage is for lights. This is annoying. This is annoyingly difficult to get damage at the end of this game. Don't know where the two settings are now, so far. My team was too good for me to get damage at the end there. That sucks. But I'll take that game because I have to. <laughs> That's 2400 towards the mark. That's not very good, but... It's good enough for me for now. Get another battle pass stage done, though. So that's always good. Also, looks like we got a crew book that we can use. Oh, yeah, that one. <gasps> awesome. So we're to that point in the battle post. <laughs> I need to do my UDR crew a little more. So that's what I'm going to do there. Um, I just get whatever's the lowest in my garage that I don't have every tank of that nation. Uh, I'll probably start building up check uh, blueprints for the check TD line when it comes out. But anyway, next game, let's go.
It's gonna be one of those videos where I don't really edit at all, which is unfortunate for you guys. We're fortunate for you guys if you just don't like my editing style. So, um, we're playing only tier tens at eleven thirty. Awesome, awesome. Normally people play uh, tier eights and stuff at tier at this time of day. Um, the good thing about playing against these tier tens is most of them are pretty bad players because it's eleven thirty in the morning. If you don't know on this side, in the random battles anyway, you just want to pretty much play over here. You don't want to contest this area because they have a better hull down there, but you have the better hull down here. So you kind of fight each other from this angle. So. Nice. Thanks, W. Oh my god, get the fuck out from behind me, you fucking idiot. Okay. I'm not getting clapped by a T30, that's not happening. He just missed his shots. No, he didn't. Uh, my team fucking sucks, dude. <sighs> so when every team gets rolled on the side of the map, you basically just want- I've also taken 700 damage from that 261 already. And he's firing stun rounds. Like, what the fuck is going on? Apparently this tank doesn't take arty shells very well, so. I don't know what that guy was thinking. And here we set one shot of health and zero damage. Absolutely incredible. And Arty will not leave me alone. I must be the best player in this game, which is ironic because I'm not very good. <laughs> what the fuck is in the Arty? Denial? What? There's our one shot of damage, and now we die. Turn, turn, turn. Stop. Oh, he <sighs> Can't blame the tank for that. That was a garbage team. So, I'll see you guys back in the garage for the next battle. Yep, you can see it there. STB ended up doing a lot of damage, and he was the only one on my team. Uh, zero damage from our top tier heavy, uh, one shot of damage from this guy, he high rolled so he beat me on damage. Uh, two shots of damage, or one shot of damage from our E4, one shot of damage from this guy, two shots of damage from this guy, like, uh, yeah, no. Okay, well, they had better tanks, they do. Anyway, so, for that map. Um, so we're gonna go again. E100 actually works really well on this build. Next.
Finally top tier. Which is not too bad, not too bad. This tank is one of those weird medium heavy tank hybrids. Obviously, as it is a heavy tank hull with a medium stir. It's also pretty quick, so. It'd be even faster if I get some of the field mods. Nice. I'd love to get some field mods on this thing. Boop. Oh, I only took one shell for that. That's great. They're playing like morons, so. I drove directly into a fucking crossfire. This is great. What? Gold spamming type four, nice. Gotta make his tank competitive somehow. Oh, I got us so stuck. That's it. Though. Yeah, I don't know why I did that. Oh, that was really dumb. I mean, it sort of kind of worked out, but that was pretty stupid. I can't stand this map, so. The standard battle on Sigfred Line has to be like the worst game mode map combination. Oh, he's not even AFK, he's just retarded. Okay. I, I meant to say uh, something else there. Oops. Smart. As I'll get up. Okay. Well, and that game being over, time to uh, see just how garbage this tank is. You know as soon as I stop recording that I'm going to play much better games, which is really unfortunate. This thing's still better than I thought it was. But, <laughs> I don't know that we can blame the tank for the last two games here. Um, I put it in an overly aggressive position. 
my team did not help. Um, it looks like one of those that was decided when the matchmaker queued us all up. Okay. Uh, anyway. I have made, in three games, 170,000 credits. Which isn't great. But two of those were losses. So. 1,500 combined, or 1,500 damage average. Which also isn't great, but you also have to take into account that the second game was one shot of damage. And that we did decently enough in the first game. So. Really thought the Westfield game would be the best one, but you never know. Uh, so, anyway. Yeah, so, anyway. I think, uh... I think this tank is better than I give it credit for when I did my review nearly a year ago. <laughs> Hold on, let's check this out. When was this? When did I release this video? This is kind of slow. Let's see. Sturve K, is it worth it? Where is it at? Why can't I see all of my videos? What is this? Why doesn't it just show all of them? What? There's only 47 videos. Come on. I'm up to 47 videos. Oh my gosh. Sturve K, is it worth it? August 27th, 2021. So it's been nearly a year since I um, covered the mission marathon on this tank. Um, I might leave that video in the description. Uh, there's no gameplay in it, I don't think. Um, but, it, I mean, stink doesn't suck nearly as much as I thought it did. Um, it's decent enough at making credits, also, since you're, you can get away with not firing a whole lot of premium rounds. Uh, the standard shells are actually pretty decent on this tank, and the premium rounds are pretty good too. So, um, overall, I think uh, for the most part, this is this is worth the. I don't know about that. I don't know that it's worth sixty dollars, but uh, it's definitely not worth the hundred and twenty dollar top package cost. So I wouldn't buy that. But I do think it's it's worth having. I don't know. At what price I would say it's worth having. Um, it wasn't worth 10 days of your life, and it's not worth, I don't think, $60. Um, I feel like if you can somehow figure out a way to get it to like 40 if you have like a coupon that you can use on it, I would do that. Um, other than that, uh, it's a serviceable tank that's not terrible. And it makes a shitload of credits because of the the standard rounds and bonds. So, I mean, it's not half bad. And uh, when I get it field modded, it should be quite a bit better. Like, quite a bit better. Um, I don't think I'm going to go for accuracy on this tank. I think I'm actually going to take the aim time. I don't know. That was a little difficult. That is one bad thing about this tank. This is a garbage aim time for this gun. So. Um, I may end up taking off um, stabs, which isn't really going to help, and putting on um, in, not improved aiming. What am I talking about? Or I might just do with my second setup. I might uh, take off the turbo in like a, a really brawly like city map i might take off the turbo and put on a um gun lighting drive there we go jesus but anyway that's gonna do it for me so i will see you guys next time uh, also hopefully i'll see you guys later on titancraft so anyway bye bye